everyone this is al kabir the analyst and today i will be talking to kobe dean being a positive vibe for the philadelphia eagles and also i want to talk Jalen hurts improvement in the red zone this is al kabir the analyst let's get into it uh nicobe dean nicobe dean um didn't hear much about him on the first day well yesterday but i've been seeing tweets and stuff about him today seen a couple of videos about him today which i'm kind of mad about because it always kind of sway my ideas right so nicobe dean so again i'm hearing that he's a smart player they like what he can do um nicobe dean if the things that they're saying is true he definitely needs to be starting day one it has to be him kazir white and tj edwards and maybe davion taylor rotina not sure about the other linebackers, but those four should definitely get a lot of playing time. But I think the Kobe Dean should stay on the field longer than the other guys is because he can tackle. He can cover. He can run sideline to sideline. He can do it all. He's one of those dudes, man. Um, I think second up, got to be Kazir White. He could tackle. He can cover. Then third, we already know our run stopper, our, our hitter will be TJ Edwards. But Nicobe Dean, if he could translate what he did in college to the Philadelphia Eagles or to the pros, we got us a gem. We got us a gem in the third round. In the third round. So I'm liking that his personality is great. So we know he has the intangibles, but we need to know, can it translate to the pros? I, I got the same ideas I got about him, about Jalen Hurts, the intangibles, the leadership, would the team respect them? All those questions is answered for me by Jalen Hurst, the intangibles, yes. But I have to see it on the field for N'Kobe Dean. He is only a rookie, but we will see. But I think it will translate the things he did in Georgia to the Philadelphia Eagles. And if so, I'm not saying Super Bowl bound, but I'm saying we can possibly make a run. We can cause some havoc in this league. If our linebacker position get right, we didn't have a good linebacker position in years. We didn't really have a good linebacker position when we um, won the Super Bowl. Michael Kentris was good. And um, Nigel, I'm sorry, Nigel Bradham was good as well. But as far as like an overall core, not really. And then I think, I think Hassan Reddick should be on, be considered like a defensive edge. But I could be wrong. I'm, I'm hearing other opinions about that, right? So I, I just like to hear these things about Nicobe Dean. I, I'm liking that. I'm hearing these positive things around him being smart and everything, and it's translating to the NFL. But now I want to talk Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, and I'm going to show you this clip right here. I, I, when they traded for him, I heard from multiple people around the league says that is a perfect fit for what they want to do yeah. and how they can expand upon it too. So will they pass more? Yeah, they'll probably pass more. They're, they're probably going to have to. I mean, teams are now going to have a full season's worth of tape and figure out, okay, how can we slow this running game down? And a lot of times you, you can't because you see Jalen Hurts in the red zone is getting better and better. Um, let me pull up the numbers real quick, which you guys probably seen a lot. Salute to Elias Short Parts. He was last year 5 of 14, two touchdowns, one pick. This year 12 of 15, four touchdowns, one pick. The thing that made me mad about the team probably the most was the red zone. We get to the red zone. Like when we was playing the Chiefs, the difference the difference between us and the Chiefs when we was playing them, when the Chiefs were getting in the red zone, they were scoring touchdowns. But when we got in the red zone, it was penalties and it was field goals. So that was the difference between the two. You've seen an inexperienced team and you've seen an experienced team. Even when we played the uh, 49ers, you've seen that epic pass by Jalen Hurts to Quez Watkins. Quez Watkins taken for 99 yards or 98 yards. We right there, like at the two-yard line. Penalties, bad play calling turnover against the Giants the first time we played them come on well, that was a game we wasn't supposed to lose and it's 
this will make me mad about Jalen Hurst's decision making. It's like we right there. Even if we could just get a field goal, even if we could just get a field goal, and he threw a pick, and that's when um, Devontae Smith chased down. I forgot who the corner was, but we was bad in the red zone. So it's good to see that he's approving in the red zone, and, and I'm happy about that. The ball's coming out a lot quicker. That was the main reason for the clip. So, um, yeah, man, it is great because when you got a guy like A.J. Brown and then you got the threat of Jalen Hurts' legs and you got Miles Sanders, it's plenty of ways you can score touchdowns. Even Kenneth Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell was a touchdown machine. So it's plenty of ways you can get a touchdown. But at some point, we got to see what Jalen Hurts' arm can do inside the 20 instead of using his legs or having to rely on a run where you got a, a locomotive or whatever you want to call it on the outside of A.J. Brown. You got a Swiss Army knife and uh, Devontae Smith, and you got Quest Watkins, to me, who can do it all. I think his jump ball is very underrated. Um, Quest Watkins can get up. He can definitely get up, but nobody talk about that. We talk about his speed a lot, but... Dude got hops, and he he going to cause some damage in this league, too. I'm expecting big things from him. I know we like the A.J. Brown because he's the new addition, and Devontae Smith, the former first-round pick. But don't forget about Quez. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about N'Kobe Dean being this positive vibe in the locker room and also Jalen Hurts' improvement? I know it was only one day, but from last year to this year, even how he's built his body, it's better. It's better. The numbers looking better. The ball is coming out better. Jalen Hurts know what he need to do. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost. Hey. Mm. This is my man.